Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kawita Kandri. I'm going to show you several specimens that have this black fusion layer, that's what it's called, fusion crust, it's referred to also. Um, but this would be considered a remnant fusion crust because it's not completely covering the whole meteorite. That's because, uh, depending on how old a meteorite is, that layer, black layer, can uh, either flake away or, you know, just deteriorate over a period of time in whatever way through weathering. And uh, um, it just is an indication that lets you know that this particular meteorite here, as, lo as well as the other specimens I'm going to show you, are very old. So I'll show you the other specimens that I've got. I got so many of them. If you don't already know my by now, this discovery is into the thousands, could be 10, 20 thousands. I haven't even dug it up yet. I'm waiting for the unveiling of it. That's the reason for this video. This is a really unique one. This one's got several parts of it where it's got the remnant fusion layer. And this one here, as you can see, I'll zoom in as close as I can. You can actually see regma glyphs in this, and that's where it would be indentations like thumb thumbprints, thumb thumbprint uh, indentation that when it were you know, when a meteor goes through the air, it ablates and it's just kind of the, the shape that it, it takes as it's traveling through the atmosphere. So this one's really, really special. Need to give it a name. I think I did Bennu after the asteroid that they're sending the space probe or whatever. So, okay. I'll give you some more. Here's another interesting one. That one is, uh, actually has two sides. They have the fusion on it and uh, as you can see you can even detect some regma glyphs those impressions in this one this one held together pretty good i mean my personal opinion i believe these are a few thousand years old there's another one another unique specimen with only one area that has the remnant fusion layer. And another. And you can see the differences in the specimens I'm showing you. Some have more gray in them, some have more of a red. Whoops! That just goes to show you that uh, you know how the iron in them oxidize and plus there's different other other different factors that I'm not quite sure yet they have to be analyzed uh, to kind of determine all that but like the other one that I just showed you was all gray this one's like um, reddish brown and you can see the cracks in them that's where the the iron swelled up turned into iron oxide and sort of just cracked the uh, the whole rock and that's how it sort of deteriorates and becomes part of the soil you know earth soil and most people really wouldn't even know this is a meteorite if you don't have a really well trained eye and you're not really looking for them so there's some more fusion on it Here's another really cool one. Kind of just going to show them to you really quick here. I've got a quite a few yet to show you. I mean, I could show you 
hours worth of you know what's yet to be discovered too could be days you would be looking at all of them but they're all unique you know they're very similar they're, you know they got the roundness but they are unique even though they came from the same meteorite when it exploded in the atmosphere that's my theory so I believe other people other scientists will agree with me once they've you know took a look at all this okay I get you some more. This is a tiny one, but it's one of my favorites. It's really cool. And now we're, we've got one here. It's more of that gray color again. But there's some red in it. And another one. Nothing on the back here, just pretty much on the front. Here's one where this one's really been worn away. There's not a whole lot left on this one. Here's another smaller one, but very unique specimen. It's got a nice remnant fusion layer. Held together pretty good. Another really nice one here, and another. This one's got just a small area. Here's some on this one, but as you can see, all these are roundish, and the ones that aren't round were ones that are fractured where they blew apart in the air. Or deteriorated here on Earth. I think they just blew apart in the air, but they all have similar shapes. So they came from the same meteorite shower. And here's another unique one. Another one, small, but got a lot going for it. Okay, here's a unique one too. And this is the last one I'm going to show you. Got so many more I could show you. Maybe I'll just put the pictures on this video and you can take a look at them all. Alright, here you go, the remnant fusion layer. Well, here's a group picture of the ones I just showed you. I'm sitting here out on the porch and uh, these are the ones that I just took individual videos of so I just thought I'd show them to you all together. Now I'm going to show you some that I made windows into. That's actually where I filed into the exterior of the rock exposing a smooth flat surface and from here you can see all different types of particles you know mostly a lot of the round ones which I would imagine are chondrules which <clears throat> make up the chondrite name that's where the name comes from um, but the light isn't the best here I don't know if you're able to see the iron particles I'm trying to move it to where you can see some tiny, shiny <clears throat> flakes reflecting off of the light. I've got pictures that I will show you what I'm talking about, but just take a look at these. And I've got quite a few more. some more. Another one I mean. This one's pretty cool. See that black round particle? Here's another one of the bluey type 
grayish bluey type. These, I think, actually weren't really ex turned into iron oxide yet. They were kind of like in the center, maybe well preserved. Sort of didn't rust out as quickly as those reddish areas on those other ones. And I turn it over, and you can see, you can hear the noise, all the meteorites right in here. <clears throat> see these right here? There's, I don't know, three or four hundred right here in this hole. <laughs> I'm going to bury them up. because it's a secret. These are what I just pulled out of the ground in about three seconds. <laughs> I'm going to wash them up and I'll let you take a better look at them. There were plenty more than I could have spent another 10 minutes there just collecting them right and left. Or maybe even longer. I don't know. So let me clean them up and I'll show you. Look down at the meteorites. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on them. With my zoomer. 